Hello and welcome to the first of the Trailblazer Reloaded Leagues videos. It is currently November 14th and I wanted to record a little intro before the leagues actually launch because I know tomorrow I'm going to be way too excited to remember to do this. So here we go. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what my plans for leagues are and honestly just what leagues are in general for anyone that may not know. I know a lot of you guys already know what leagues are all about and are excited to play them yourselves, but I'm going to give a quick little introduction for those who aren't, and hopefully I don't bore you guys that already know what's going on. Starting tomorrow, Leagues 4, the Trailblazer Reloaded League will be launching, which is a reimagining of the second league that they did, where the main theme is being region locked to certain areas that you get to choose, with the addition of some powerful relics that make your character stronger in both PVM and skilling. When you load into Leagues, you'll be on a fresh character starting from scratch as an Iron Man, and you earn points by doing tasks around the game, and the more tasks you do, the more points you get, the more things you get to unlock, uh, being new regions and new relics. My favorite part about Leagues is there are millions of different combinations of regions and relics to pick, along with an infinite number of ways to go about doing things, and you kind of get to set your own objectives. A lot of people just play Leagues to get the points for the unlocks in the main game, some people try and go for high scores, some people try and go for unlocks, and I sort of have my own plan of what I want to do. I know a big question that I'm going to get is what about the tasking videos that most of you guys are here on the channel for? Uh, I'm actually going to be playing this on my main account. I don't use this account for pretty much anything these days. I actually had to buy membership just to do this. But I'm going to be playing leagues on the main account while I'm still able to AFK and do other things on the Taskmoon account on the main game. Uh, and then if I want to AFK in the leagues, then I might go and do a little bit more active playing on the other account. But either way, I'm still going to be trying to progress my Taskmoon account as I play. And hopefully there'll be a few videos coming out here and there. But my main focus is going to be on leagues. I'm going to try and start with daily uploads. That might be a lot, but at the start there's a lot going on, so hopefully I can make that happen. And yeah, honestly, I'm super excited for this. I don't really have much else to say other than I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hello, and good morning to the gamers. Uh, it is way earlier than I would like to be awake, but I'm finally on leagues. We could do it. Let's get started. And already we're right into it. Uh, my first relic, I'm going to be picking Production Prodigy. Uh, this is the relic that lets you do most of the production actions all at once. And it also gives you a plus 12 boost to crafting, smithing, herb lore, fletching, and cooking. And yeah, I just I think this is going to be the most fun for me. So I'm going to select this one. Yes, confirm. Heck yeah. End tutorial. We've done it. Let's go. First things first, I have one objective day one on leagues, and that is to get league points. Uh, league points are going to unlock faster XP rates, better drop rates, better relics, more regions, etc. So focusing too hard on anything else is just a waste of time because getting league points and then doing it later is going to be faster. So right now, my objective is league points and levels in a few select skills that I plan on doing, and I am already level 10 woodcutting. Oh my goodness, thank you, Jagex. I was really hoping that the task list would be one of the new interfaces that can be resized and moved around and open while you do things, so you can actually keep the task list up like on the side of your screen or something. This is so nice, thank you. So this is the power of Production Prodigy. I want to train my fletching and I am already level 13 so I can make longbows immediately and I make them all at once and get the huge XP drop. Uh, this is just, this is going to unlock so many different skilling methods. I'm so excited for this. If you're just starting out on leagues, one thing I would recommend is seriously look at the task list and just find all the really easy things. Uh, for example, there's a task to kill a goblin. So I'm going to do that even if it's going to take a little while because all I have is a bronze axe and I can only hit once. But still, there are so many easy tasks to get you quick points early in the game. And like I said, league points are the name of the game right now. So if you're just starting out, just look through the list and find things you can do. There's a lot going on right now, and by a lot, I mean essentially nothing of importance. <laughs> I'm just running around Lumbridge doing any of the tasks that I can find. For instance, right now I am doing Cook's Assistant, uh, so I'm probably not going to show you much of this, uh, but you'll be sure anytime anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. For now, just farming League points. 
Oh, I almost forgot the most important part. I have a hell puppy on leagues. Nice. So I have already planned out which regions I'm going to unlock and which relics I'm going to take. And initially I was going to keep it somewhat of a surprise, but realistically it's kind of the basic range build. Uh, I am going to be taking the range combat relic and I am going to be unlocking Zaya, Asgarnia, and the desert, uh, which is what most people I think that are taking range are doing. Uh, so I'm kind of sad because I did come up with the idea on my own before I sort of knew that, but I think it is the best and it's going to provide me with the most entertainment value. So that is my plan. Uh, as far as the rest of the relics go, I'll talk about those when they come up, but that is what I'm going to be doing going forward. See, now this is why you always got to check the task list. There's a task to cry in a wheat field. Don't know why, but there you go. Well, my plan was to just hit trees until I came up with a plan, and then it turns out that my plan was to hit trees. So I got 50 wood cutting. Uh, I'm going to go move on. I think I've found a few tasks that I can go and do pretty easily. Um, something I learned that I didn't actually realize before, you need points to unlock the next relic, but you actually just need to complete a certain number of tasks to get the next areas. So I'm just going to go try and do as many tasks as I can find. Oh, would you look at that? You have gained enough points to unlock a tier 2 relic. Uh, so, the options here are Fairy's Flight, which lets you teleport to any Fairy Ring, Spirit Tree, or Tool Leprechaun, um, which is really good. Or Globe Trotter, which is essentially a necklace that gives you all of these teleports. Which, at first, this sounds way better if you just look at the number of them, but I'm actually going to go with Fairy's Flight, I think. Um, all of these teleports you can get yourself. You know, I can go and make jewelry. I can get the mage level to cast these. Whereas this is something that you can't really get automatically. Uh, specifically the tool leprechauns. So I think I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is the right choice, but I think it's more fun. And I think I need to be in a bank. One sec. Okay, now relics, fairies, flight, select, confirm. Again, I don't know if this is the right choice, but it is what I'm going to do. So there it is, Fairy Mushroom. So I can just choose to teleport to any, like, Tool Leprechaun. I can just go, oh, I want to be uh, the Draenor Manor Tool Leprechaun. That is so cool. <laughs> he died! He died to a tree! <laughs> uh, thanks for the prayer XP, idiot. Anyways, uh, one of the things that I like about this, if you didn't really realize why I think this is so good, there's a Tool Leprechaun, like, everywhere. Like, all the main cities usually have, like, a farming patch in or near them, so it's sort of like being able to teleport to Lumbridge, if I can just teleport to the Tool Leprechaun at Lumbridge, and I think this just gives more flexibility and more variety, and is just more fun. So that's what I'm going to choose. Uh, again, the whole point of leagues is you get to sort of do your own thing, so if you want to choose the other one, go ahead. I mentioned previously that I'm going to be taking the ranged relic, and the skills that I'm training right now actually do have to do with my master plan. Uh, I think that the ranged relic is going to be fun, specifically because of enchanted bolts, and as you'll notice, the skills that I'm training right now, fletching, smithing, uh, soon to be crafting, uh, those are all to make enchanted bolts, essentially. Uh, I know that's pretty far down the line, but, you know, you gotta plan for stuff like that. Uh, right now, I'm just running around doing my tasks. I am 10 tasks until I get to unlock the next area, which, unlocking a new area, is gonna unlock more tasks to do. Uh, I haven't quite picked which one I'm gonna choose yet, but, yeah, there's your update. Oh, there we go, you can unlock a new area. Uh, now I need to figure out what I'm unlocking first. So, I think I've decided I'm gonna unlock the desert first. I believe the desert has the most easy and medium tasks that I can do. And again, my objective right now is just to complete tasks, so I'm gonna do it. I don't really like it. Honestly, it kind of feels bad, but I think it's the play. So I discovered something very funny. Uh, this league, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but all of the shops are like restocking instantly, and they're all your own private stock. Uh, so you don't have to worry about selling stuff when other people are already selling stuff. Uh, which means that Shanty at the Shanty Pass has an infinite number of extremely cheap bronze bars. So I decided to just spend like 4,000 coins on bronze bars, and I'm just going to make a bunch of bronze knives to train my range. And that way I don't really have to worry about picking up ammo, that's always annoying. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm just getting a bunch of smithing levels for essentially free. It's awesome. And just like that, I have 2,400 bronze knives. <laughs> this is great. Initially, I was trying to avoid combat until I got my combat relic, uh, just because it feels kind of inefficient. But now that I have all these bronze knives and I need to train other skills like crafting, I'm like, might as well use them. I didn't even know there was a task to equip a frog mask. I just thought it'd be funny if I was running around like this. <laughs> and there was a medium task. That's so funny. Surely four shrimps is going to be enough to get me through here, right? Now, not only do I have 10k to spend, I also get the boots that give me a task. The first easy casket on leagues? Okay, well, I got purple sweets, which I think you need to eat for a task. Heck yeah! Now, am I going to die to Count Draenor because I have no food? Maybe, but there's only one way to find out. Nah, he sucks. Oh, I just ran over to the Alcarid Gate because there's a task to go through it, and it was going to be my last task till I unlocked Tier 3. But turns out that I got a chair to follow me in Draenor Manor by accident. So there we go, Tier 3 Relics! Now, the choice on Tier 3 is between Banker's Note and Fire Sale. Uh, Fire Sale makes it so all shops around the game are completely free, and you can buy stuff noted, and it's just, it's really good for getting free stuff from the shop. Which, don't get me wrong, is really good. But, I'm gonna choose Banker's Note. Um, I think this is one of the more highly contested choices. I'm surprised at how 50-50 split people are. Uh, I think Banker's Note is gonna be more fun for me. Uh, Fire Sale is cool, but I think falls off extremely quickly. Once you have the things from the shop, like, you're done. I think Banker's Note is more useful in more places. So, I'm gonna do it, and I need to be near bank. All right, let's try that again. Banker's note, select, confirm. Oh yeah. One of the reasons people say that they're picking fire sale is because at tier three, you get the crystal of memories anyway, uh, which is essentially what last recall was, except in this league, uh, last recall has a cooldown until you get to 1800 total and it scales down the more total level you have. So, right now, Last Recall, I think, for 400 total level has a 5-minute cooldown. I don't know. I'll have to look up the chart. Uh, and people always say, like, oh, you can just go back to your bank if you want to do stuff that you'd have a banker's note for. Which is sort of true. But I hope that I can prove to you why I think banker's note is going to be very strong going forward. Uh, right now, both of these aren't particularly useful for me yet. Uh, because I'm just running around doing things. So, yeah, going forward, I'll explain my choice a bit more. I realize now that I didn't really explain what Banker's Note actually does. Uh, essentially, you get this thing in your inventory, and you can use an item on it, and it will turn everything of that item into notes, and you can do it the other way around. If you have a noted stack of something, it'll turn it unnoted. So, essentially, it's just insanely useful for anything ever. <laughs> I think this is going to be really good in the long run. Uh, I think people are thinking that fire sale is so useful right now, which it is, but they're not thinking about the long term, the long con of the game, and I think Banker's Note is just going to be sick. So there's a league task to do a task for the wise old man, which turns out that he'll just tell you to go and do stuff and then give you some rewards, some of which is prayer XP. And I actually think this is like one of my best prayer training methods right now. Uh, you just ask him, is there anything I can do for you? And he'll give you something sort of weird, like deliver a note to this person. And you say, okay. So, yeah, that's how you do that task, in case you're curious. I had never heard of that. Apparently, it's been in the game since, like, 2005. <laughs> As I've just been running around the game doing random tasks, I got reminded of my idea from Last Leagues, which is a Runelight plugin that, like, is a League's task helper that essentially just highlights anything that can be used for a task. And so as you're running around, you might see like a stall highlighted or a guard or something. And then you can be like, oh yeah, I need to kill that or I need to steal from that or whatever it is. I know that'd be very hard to implement, but I would be very useful. I find myself running all over the game and then like realizing after I've teleported away or ran away from something that I actually needed to go back and do it. I don't know. 
So I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like sort of running out of tasks, which feels weird to say because there's so many tasks to do. Uh, but I feel like I'm running out of tasks that I can do like fairly easily. So my new plan is just to try and get my skills up. Um, I think my main problem is going to be rune crafting because I don't know how to get a talisman uh, with my low combat stats. But I'm just going to start training my skills and hopefully I get some points through that. And now I'm going to see if it's possible to kill a Tazar with bronze knives. All of that for 10 points. So I've discovered a problem. I'm trying to get base 10 or maybe base 20. And I can't train rune crafting. Uh, rune mysteries and the Temple of the Eye quest were auto-completed by my regions. So I'm trying to find a way to get a water talisman. And I believe the only way I can get one is at a 1 in 43 rate from the wizards at the wizards tower. So I think I'm going to just finish off fishing and then go and kill a bunch of wizards and hope for a water talisman. Let's go, Water Talisman! I've never been so excited for a Water Talisman, dude. And now this is the power of Banker's Note. I just spent about 15 minutes mining pure essence while I ate lunch. And now I get to just unnote all my pure essence and use it on the altar. Oh, it's so beautiful. And just like that, 35 runecrafting. Oh, it feels so good. One of the reasons I wanted to get my runecrafting up was to be able to do Guardians of the Rift. Because I was hoping that I could get the like runecrafting achievements or tasks done. But it turns out that crafting a fire rune in here doesn't it doesn't get you the task. You have to do it like with pure essence in the actual altar. So that kind of sucks. So apparently on leagues, uh, you can just ignore the combat requirement to get a task from Duradel. So... Cool, thank you. Well, I've been playing for far longer than I'd like to admit, but this is a pretty big milestone. If I make this steel plate body, I am now able to unlock a new relic. And if I equip it, I am now able to unlock a new area. Feels amazing, man. Uh, and like I said before, no question the relic, I'm taking Archer's Embrace. I've been planning for this for a while, so there we go. I can finally go and start doing some combat. And as far as the next area I'm going to unlock, I've already said that I plan on unlocking Karend and Asgarnia. Uh, and I think I'm going to start with Asgarnia. It's kind of a hard decision, to be honest, but I think Asgarnia lets me get uh, full Void, which is going to be very nice uh, for early game range. And that's probably the next thing that I'm going to go and do, is just go bang out full Void. So, yeah, we're going to do Asgarnia. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what Archer's Embrace does, but I'm going to summarize it real quick. Uh, it increases the attack speed of your ranged weapons. The already fast weapons like 2 tick, 3 tick go down by 1. And then the 4 and 5 tick weapons both become 2 tick, which is extremely strong. Uh, the 5 tick ranged weapons are like the crossbow type weapons. So essentially you get 2 tick crossbows with enchanted bolts I think is going to be very good. Uh, it also decreases the amount of ammunition you use, uh, which also stacks with Ava's, but I'm not going to be able to get one of those. Enchanted Bolts have a two times boosted chance to proc. Again, huge with the crossbows. 10% uh, chance to just fire another projectile, which is also insane. And your accuracy is increased by 100%. Uh, so, what that all means is, with these bronze knives, they are now a one tick weapon that also has a 10% chance of firing twice. So even this is extremely strong, and these are like the weakest weapon I could have right now. So I'm very excited to be moving forward with this. Uh, I don't really know what the next range upgrade is going to be. I'm going to try and get like maybe some mithril knives if I get my uh, smithing up. But either way, this is like, it's, it's like I finally unlocked the game. I can go and do all those combat tasks I've been putting off, and I'm just, I'm excited. And my first medium clue on leagues, I'm feeling a 1kc ranger boots. All right, never mind. So a fun little tip that my friend told me about, uh, you can buy emeralds from this gem trader, uh, and because the shop instantly restocks, you can buy as many as you want. He sells them for 50 coins each, 
cut them all. Now, if you're a production prodigy like myself, it's extremely easy. And then when you go to resell them, he buys them back for 350 each. So you get free crafting experience and money. Now, the one caveat is you can't have picked fire sale because otherwise he won't buy them back. So fire sale people in shambles. I wasn't planning on staying here for that long, but then I remembered you get a league task for your first level of every like 10 multiple. So your first 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. So I think I'm just going to stay here till like 80 crafting and then I'm going to go and spend all my money. Well, not all my money, but I'm going to go and use the money that I've made on steel knives at the rogues den. Uh, and then I'm going to go and take those knives to pest control where I'm going to do pest control until I get full void. And that's probably where I'm going to end the video. Uh, it is starting to get pretty late. I've been playing quite literally all day. And I'm, I'm getting a little tired, and especially because this method requires so much spam clicking, my hand is starting to hurt. So, my objective for the end of today and the end of this video will be full void. And there we go, 80 crafting, 80 points for that. Alright, 50 thieving, finally. That took way longer than I had hoped, but oh well, we can go and buy our steel knives. I forget if I explained this before, but I'm planning on buying steel knives from Martin in the Rogue's Den, uh, but he wouldn't talk to me unless I had 50 thieving, and I'm really hoping that he also doesn't require me to have 50 agility, uh, considering he's the thieving guy. I really hope not. Damn it. Alright, here we go. 50 agility, finally. Martin, you better trade me this time. Alright, please, Martin. Thank you. All right, there we go. Thousand steel knives. They're actually super cheap. Uh, they only give a plus four range strength, but when you're attacking every tick, that's very important. So I'm going to go do a few more things. I got to go buy some green dehyde, hopefully. Uh, I don't think I can wear the body yet, but I'm going to go buy some green dehyde and then we will go get started at pest control. All right, there we go. Green dehyde van braces, green dehyde chaps, and I got the body for once I get 40 defense. And we can go start pest control. All right, I finally found people to play pest control with. Apparently World 472 is the official unofficial pest control world on leagues, so I found them. It's unfortunate that the next league tier is when I get the next multiplier for minigame points, so this is a little slower than it could be, uh, but I can't really complain. I'm just training my stats. I still need to get 42 in attack, strength, defense, and that's it. Um, to actually wear the void, so I guess it's not too bad. It just does feel a little slow for leagues, you know? Man, going from one tick knives with nearly 60 range to a four tick rune sword with 15 strength, it doesn't feel good, I'll tell you that. Hey, there we go. 42 strength, 42 attack, 42 defense. We are done with all of that. The only thing I have left is a magic, which I need to go buy some runes for. But that feels good, I can stop using the stupid sword and go back to my overpowered knives. The good news with magic is I get experience every cast regardless of if I hit, so even if I'm just splashing, then it's still fine, I'm still training it. As long as I keep my activity bar up, then we should be good. Yeah, so 42 magic took like no time at all. In fact, I, I already got it and I didn't even notice. So, nice. Uh, all we have left to do is actually get the points which I believe I need about 200 more-ish, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, and that's going to be it. 850 points. I need a void top, a void bottom, some void knight gloves, and of course the void ranger helm. Get me out of here! And that's going to be it for day one of Leagues. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be trying to upload every day or maybe every other day uh, just as I go through Leagues. So if you're enjoying the content, be sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments. And make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the next one. And other than that, I've got nothing else. So I will see you tomorrow. And a big thank you to all of my channel members, but a special thank you to my tier 3 Big Spoon channel members, Alchemist BTW, Jack Stalmer, Zach Martin, Luxitaire, Tony Adkins, and Dolph. Thank you guys, and thank you everyone on screen here for the support.